Welcome back to Hexus TV and uh, if you've been keeping up with what we've been doing here with uh, John Wetter over up here in Bletchley, um, we've just had a look at Colossus. So John, talk us through, we've seen Colossus, what do we do with the output from Colossus now? Okay, fine. Uh, you remember the output from Colossus, uh, it gives you a printout um, which says these are the wheel start positions uh, for the message which has just been analysed. So what we do is we take that printout to the tunny machine and we plug up the tunny machine in accordance with what Colossus has told us. So for example, uh, wheel number one, it, the, the printout might say, well the wheel start position for that message was uh, position number 20. Okay. Uh, wheel number two, it might have been position number one and so on. I'll just make these up as I go along um, just to plug up the machine um, pretending that I'm doing it in accordance with what Colossus has told us to do. Um, so we just you know, plug all these rotors up into the ostensibly the correct positions on here. Um, one more, two, two more. Where was the next one? There we go. So John, just explain what's the top row here? Ah, right. Okay. To go into slightly more detail, you may be able to see on this diagram uh, the, the detail of the of the rotor. Okay, so this one's got fewer positions than this one. Yeah, that's right. And, yeah. and each of those positions, there's a little cam, all right? Mm -hmm. uh, and if you press the cam down, all right, um, it will change the uh, signal data from a one to a zero. And gotcha. if it's up, it's the other way around. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, and so what you're saying, that's called a wheel pattern. Yeah. All right? Um, and this top row on here, on each of these strips, this like this row here, yeah. represents the wheel pattern on that okay. particular gotcha. rotor. And the next row down is the wheel start position. Yep. Okay. Okay, so we've now plugged up the machine in accordance with the Colossus has told us, and we now have to initialise the machine by throwing this key here. We've now initialised the machine, and that's the equivalent of um, setting each of the rotors into the into the start the wheel start positions that we use for that particular message. So having now initialised our machine, we've now got a decryption machine fully set up uh, in accordance with how the message was transmitted in the first place. What we then do is take that long perforated tape off of Colossus, the message tape, and we feed it in through here electronically, and out on this teleprinter will come the plain text decrypted German message. And that is the end of the process. So those are the golden nuggets, effectively, um, which was so useful to, uh, to Churchill and his team in the war. That's fantastic. End of. There we go. So that's how the uh, decryption process took place up here at Bletchley using the world's first computer. John, thank you very much for your time. Pleasure. Okay. okay. Check back soon on Hastings TV for more.